Hey, Joel here from Inflatable and Event Office. I want to give you real quick instructions on how to set up analytics tracking in our software. So by default, if you're using a WordPress website with our plugin, uh, we actually already track a bunch of information here on the dashboard website. You'll already be able to track visitors, conversion rate, you'll have a more detailed conversion funnel, and live visitors on your site. So the, this is automatically set up. You don't really need to do anything um, for this part. Uh, under stats, there's one called company stats here, and we can also track AdWords, customers, events, and total dollars, as well as Facebook. Now, in order to have this work, as well as if you wanna track it on Facebook or AdWords um, websites, you have to put in your um, analytics code. So to do that, I go over to settings, analytics tracking. So there's three boxes here. So this first box is the main one you'll be using analytics code. This is the one that shows up on every single page. So I'll start by showing you um, how to get Facebook pixel. So this one, first we'll need to find the um, code to put in. So I always search for Facebook pixel code. There's a page here called implementation. That's what we were just at. And you'll basically just copy this whole chunk of code here, paste it in, and then you have to replace this section here with your actual code. There's actually two spots here. To get your code, um, you'll just need to go to facebook.com like this slash events underscore manager. And then this is the code. So. Um, you copy that and then just paste it over for these sections. Just make sure you are only replacing the part here I have highlighted in both spots. You don't want to remove a single quote or anything like that. That's it for Facebook. So you don't need to put anything for Facebook into any of these other ones. Um, we track the standard events for conversions and stuff automatically on your website for Facebook. So for AdWords, um, first you need an analytics account. And if you don't have one, you can just set one up real easy using Rank Math in your website. Go to Analytics, and it'll just create one for you. Otherwise, you can just go to Google Analytics and create your own account if you don't have one. Anyway, um, to find that, so once you're logged in, you'll click on Admin here, and then make sure you're on the right website thing. But there's one called Tracking Info. Click on that, and then Tracking Code. And you'll basically just copy this out. and paste it underneath. So um, that's it for analytics. Now, if you're also doing um, AdWords, you'll want to go to log into your AdWords account, go to tools and settings, measurement, conversions. And then once you're on that page, you click the plus to make a new one. And we'll do web. And so typically you'll track um, when someone fills out the quote form, we'll call that a lead. And then when they make a payment, we'll call that a sale. All right, so we'll start with saying, <laughs> submit lead form. And you may wanna call it IO submit lead form because you may end up having, I don't know, uh, if you're using Event Hawk or anything like tracking phone numbers, clicks, stuff like that, you may have multiple ones. So be specific on that. Okay. So we can use a different value for each conversion. Uh, this is a default value. So whatever your default is. And we'll pass that info over. So we're only going to count um, one. including conversions, yes, something like this. Okay. Install the tag yourself, HTML, global site tag is already installed on all pages. So you can do any of these. Um, this one's probably the safest, but you can also do this one here. The only thing is this one has to appear inside. Oh, this is a global site tag. Yeah. 
So since we already put the analytics code in, if you copy this out here, what you'll do is we'll put it right underneath it here. So now we've got this, this one's representing analytics, this one's representing AdWords. And then for the event snippet, they call it, copy this, and that's the one that goes here. Okay, then you'll save this, finish this process and make a new one and call it sale. And then for that event snippet, you'll paste it down here in this lower one. Okay, so last thing, um, we will wanna change these out. So if you scroll down a little bit, we provide um, some more details on this, but you can see we've got a variable here for lead ID and a variable for total. So for this total one, We'll just replace the hundred dollars here and say percent total, and then also um, we can do a transaction ID for these transaction ID lead ID. Let's make sure I did that right. Transaction underscore ID. Now you'll want to make sure that you follow this format correctly. It needs to have a comma at the end, it needs to have a colon after, and this needs to be in single quotes. Okay, you can do the same thing here on this sale conversion uh, when you update those values and stuff. So that's it. Um, you fill those out and save it. And oh, uh, one other thing is, um, so this code will happen on all page views and on conversions whenever these happen. You do need to make sure that on your website here under inflatable office that the analytics code is marked as a yes and save and then any then it'll sync over um, to the website you do uh, if you're not using ours and you've got uh, some other a lot of people use a plugin called hf cf or something like that it can be in there as well um, just the analytics code isn't all that matters so anyway that's the basics of the setup uh, hopefully that's helpful thanks